And so it's these two main things that came to mind when I was reading this verse, guard your heart above all else for it will determine the course of your life. How many of us are just feeding ourselves the wrong things and it's resulting in us not making wise decisions for our lives? And also how many of us are just burdened by overwhelming discouragement and disappointment and it is keeping us from being fruitful in our lives. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. Thank you so much for tuning in. And y'all, when I say thank you for tuning in, like I truly and wholeheartedly mean that because I am not the best at posting the most consistently and I'm trying to get better at that in this season, especially this year. And so truly, truly thank you for tuning in. So y'all, I wanna talk to y'all about Proverbs 4.23. Um, I was actually listen, listening to Proverbs through the Streetlights app. If y'all have watched any of my videos, you probably know that I do love the Streetlights app. So you can listen to the word of God. Um, and the people who are reading the word have this spoken word feel. And you can also listen to it with hip hop music. And so it's a really cool way to easily digest the word of God and to also just to keep listening. And so I really love it. And they don't have all the books of the Bible on there. It's the whole New Testament and some of the Old Testament, but they recently uploaded Proverbs and I was listening to that, loving it. So I would greatly recommend it. And I can even put a screen recording of just how it sounds. So the verse that I really loved was guard your heart above all else for it will determine the course of your life. And if we have read the Bible for any amount of time, we know that the Bible talks about guarding your heart. It talks about making sure that you are feeding your spirit and making sure that you are walking in the spirit of God and denying your flesh. Okay, that's a huge thing because one, that just really helps us to live a good Christian life, to make sure that we are walking the life that God wants us to walk. Um, but what really stuck out to me was the verse saying for it will determine the course of your life and to me that brought so much more seriousness to the verse of guard your heart above all else okay something that it really spoke to me was that guarding your heart should be a priority because in order for us to follow the lord we must guard our heart and you know that means making sure that we are protecting our ear gates our eye gates and making sure that we are also reading the word of god so that we will be well equipped to guard our heart so whether we guard our heart or not will determine the course of our life and so what does that tell me it tells me that whatever i am digesting whatever I am feeding myself will have a direct result in the course of my life and y'all I don't think I've ever thought about it that seriously before like I knew that I needed to guard my heart in order to stay on track with the Lord in order to make sure that I was not feeding on a bunch of lustful thoughts and making sure that they are not being cemented in my heart and in my mind but guarding your heart is not only for everyday practice, it is also so that you can keep your life on track with the Lord. And not only on track with the Lord, but also that you can make sure that you are listening to the Lord so that you can make the right decisions and keep your life in line with the will of God. And so it made me think of some questions. What track is your life on right now and why is it on that track and are you proud of the track that your life is on right now and y'all that question is not only for y'all but i've been thinking about that question as well because i feel like i'm at a place in my life where i have a bunch of freedom and I'm at a place where I can make some significant decisions that um, can impact the course of my life. And a lot of them are good decisions that I can make, but I wanna make sure that I'm making the decision that the Lord is pleased with and that the Lord wants me to make. And so I know that I have to focus my heart on what is of the Lord because that's gonna determine the course of my life. And so that's why I wanna ask y'all, what track is your life on right now 
and are you proud of the track that your life is on? The next question I have is what choices are you making that are significantly impacting your life? So the choices that you are making are usually determining the course of your life and your choices are based off of what you feed your heart, what is inside of your heart. What are you focusing on that is directly impacting the choices that you make that are determining the course of your life? So that goes right into my next question of what are you feeding your spirit? And y'all, I think that's what it comes down to. I think that sometimes dirty things can get into our spirit in the most subtle ways. You know, sometimes we can be feeding our spirit just little things, just things that we don't think have a significant impact on us, whether we're staying on Instagram too long, whether we're staying on TikTok too long, whether we're entertaining meaningless conversations. They are things that in the moment don't have a huge impact on us, but they can actually determine the course of our lives because it's a distraction. And it can also cause us to be lazy and unproductive and waste time and then when it comes to making significant decisions or when it comes to denying ourselves in a place where we are being tempted, we cannot deny ourselves because we don't have the strength because we have not put time into our relationship with the Lord and we haven't been feeding ourselves what we are supposed to feed ourselves. Therefore, it is determining the course of our life. Another thing that I thought of when reading this verse was discouragement. Um, a lot of our lives are being thrown off track or a lot of our lives are at a standstill because of discouragement because we didn't guard our heart against discouragement and i was thinking about the verse in joshua where it says be strong and courageous do not be terrified do not be discouraged because the lord your god is with you wherever you go and some of us, we aren't being productive and we aren't being fruitful because we are experiencing overwhelming discouragement. And so it made me think of not only do we need to guard our heart against what is worldly, but we also need to guard our heart against overwhelming emotions that are going to keep our lives from progressing in the way that the Lord wants them to progress and the way that honestly we desire them to progress. And so when I say this, I don't say this to be insensitive to those of us who are feeling so many strong emotions right now. We know that in this life we will experience pain and suffering and trouble and heartache and all of those feelings can be overwhelming at times but when we don't allow ourselves to be grounded you know when we don't allow ourselves to be rooted in the word of god we can begin to exalt those feelings above the truth of the lord so much so that it will throw off the course of our lives because we can no longer be strong and courageous because we don't remember that the Lord is with us. And so it's these two main things that came to mind when I was reading this verse, guard your heart above all else for it will determine the course of your life. How many of us are just feeding ourselves the wrong things and it's resulting in us not making wise decisions for our lives? And also how many of us are just burdened by overwhelming discouragement and disappointment and it is keeping us from being fruitful in our lives. So yeah, guys, I want us to really think about these things and um, I'm thinking about them myself because um, I think it can be very easy to become distracted. It can be very easy to become discouraged and then we can see our lives heading in a direction that we do not wish for it to head in and that we honestly never intended for it to head in but it was because we got off track in what we were feeding ourselves and we got off track in our thinking. And so I really want us, if we are in this predicament, to go back to the Word of God and really become rooted in the Word of God and have a firm foundation so that when these things come, so that when these distractions come, so that when this disappointment comes, we can be ready to exalt the Lord and when we exalt the Lord in our heart, it is giving God room 
to lead and direct our lives when we surrender our lives to the Lord when we surrender our heart and our ears to the Holy Spirit and our mind to the Holy Spirit it gives God room to speak to us and then the course of our lives will be directed in the right direction it is God's will that we are fruitful in every aspect of our lives but in order for that to come to pass we have to fully surrender ourselves to the Lord we have to fully surrender our heart to the Lord and so y'all obviously this is a very loaded scripture this is a scripture that we can go so many places with and there can be so much revelation in so I really just encourage y'all to keep reading and um, to see what the Holy Spirit speaks to you um, about the Word of God and see what the Holy Spirit speaks to you about the state of your heart and about the course of your life. Um, so yeah, that is all I have to say about that. Um, thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening to me and just listening to my heart and um, I hope that y'all have a beautiful wonderful week and that you walk in the spirit and that you are encouraged and that you walk with the assurance that the Lord has you and the Lord is going to equip you and give you every good thing that you need in order to really walk this life out with integrity. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye. Guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you.